afternoon, I'm Brian Jett with Brian's Smokehouse Barbecue. We're out here at Emerald Valley Lake, about 30 miles north of Birmingham. Appreciate y'all being with us today. We're gonna to talk about cooking on the Fast Eddie FEC 300 today. We're gonna to cook some St. Louis cut ribs over here and also some smoked chicken. We're gonna cook these St. Louis cut ribs for about three hours and 40 minutes at 270 degrees. And we're gonna cook the chickens at about three and a half hours at 270. So we're gonna go ahead and set our time for about four hours just to give us a little time to prep everything. We'll start out with the chicken here. We're gonna do these with brisket rub. We're gonna start by turning them skin side down. We're gonna take the brisket rub. You can use a seasoning shaker if you prefer. We got our brisket rub real good on the back side there and I like to get it good and thick. Pretty good layer of it. And that's about what I'm looking for there. I'm gonna rub that in. A lot of people will just rub the chicken halves on the other side with a rub. Some people use mustard and then a rub. I particularly like Frank's Red Hot Original Sauce on the top skin side. It does not put a lot of heat to the chicken, but it does crisp up the chicken. You can use whatever you like, but uh, Bullard's Pepper Sauce is a good choice as well. Now we're gonna take some more of the brisket rub. We're going to sprinkle it on top. You can use a lot of this on the chicken. When we get over to the ribs, you really just want to use a little bit of it because if you go too heavy on the ribs, it'll make them very salty. Now we're done with the chicken, so we're going to go ahead and close the door. It'll resume cooking at this point and counting down on the time. Now we'll go ahead and prepare the ribs. These are St. Louis cut ribs, as I mentioned. They weigh about about three pounds to three, three and a half pounds a piece. You always want to take the skin, which is the membrane, and you want to peel that off the back of the rib, just like this. And that'll make the ribs a lot more tender. We've already done all these, so at this point, we'll go ahead and get our seasoning. We're gonna use brisket rub again. Like I say, you don't want to go real, real heavy on it, that's about what we're looking for right there. You can put some on the back as well. I do that sometimes, so that's no problem. Just, again, don't go too heavy. We've got some smoke rolling out. That's what we want. And uh, that's smelling good, mighty good. We're gonna cook these for about three hours and 45 minutes. And after that, we'll be ready to go ahead and get this ready for this catering job. And in the meantime, you can see the beautiful view out here. Uh, we can go fishing or like I say, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about using a cook shack smoker, real easy. Our chicken is uh, done now. You can come up and take a look and see what kind of product you get. You can see how pretty the Frank's Red Hot Sauce and the brisket rub make the chicken and how it makes it crisp up, which I really like. Our ribs still like a little ways. This is the cook shack mild, which is our favorite. We use it in our catering concession trailer and for all caterings uh, what we did is just filled up this squeeze char it's not mustard it is actually this and we're going to go ahead and base some of that mild on there and just let it sit just kind of give you an idea we'll just do one here there we go you can see how pretty the chicken is one one way to tell when chicken's ready is a lot of times the skin right here will draw up around the bone or you can actually turn the leg and it will make a full rotation, but you can just look at that until it's ready to go. The ribs, we still like a little ways on. You have your bones over here that will actually start sticking out of the meat. The meat will draw back on the bones. Uh, so I'm gonna say these ribs need probably another 30 minutes and they'll be ready. Now we're getting ready to take the ribs off. The St. Louis cut ribs have been on approximately three and a half hours. You can take a look and see what we've got going here. Uh, we did go ahead and baste them with the Cook Shack Mild Sauce uh, about 10 minutes ago, and it's, the sauce is caramelizing, so it's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and take this slab off there ready. Good way to tell when the slab of ribs is ready, if you pick it up and you start seeing the meat break, it is ready. And you can see the bones sticking out, the meat drawing back. That's how we tell it's ready. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting the ribs. We'll stop right there. That'll give you an idea as to what the ribs look like. They've got a lot of meat on them, these St. Louis cut ribs. All right, we're back here at uh, Brian 
Hot Smokehouse Barbecue here in the concession trailer. We have uh, finished cooking on the Fast Eddy FEC 300. And as you can see here, we have some uh, really good plates. This is our smoked chicken plate with baked beans, potato salad that we'll be getting ready to serve in our catering event. And then also, we have our rib plate, St. Louis cut ribs, three bones with baked beans and homemade potato salad. And uh, that is the finished product right there, what you see. And that's what the Fast Steady Cook Shack will do for you. Does a great job, great smoker. The Cook Shack Fast Steady, the best in the land, is the Cook Shack brand. Have a good day. Appreciate you.